So with their digs intact, the crew is just about set up. She says we can rent the place for as long or as short as we want. Yeah, rent. Rent. What's the matter, boss? Eh, it's knuckles things, you know? It's got me freaking out. I mean, I'm not even out of prison 24 hours and this guy disappears off the face of the earth. Hey, you know Knuckles. He does his shit all the time. Remember before you went in? He went down to Florida and we couldn't get a hold of him because he put his phone in a locker at the airport? <laughs> he did the same shit about a year ago when you were in. He's probably out getting pussy somewhere. Yeah, you're probably right, that lucky horn dog. Steady Nick was fucking pissed. This fucking guy, my ulcers are bleeding. Mickey knew he was supposed to keep a low profile. And now he just shit all over that. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck kind of greeting is that? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Hey, stupid ass. Have you ever heard of hello? As in hello, sir? Hello, sir. Nicky, you're fucking pushing it. Let's cut through the bullshit. We got some problems. The boss is really pissed off. He's pissed off? I don't spend a fucking few days here in this fucking nut house town. I can't even get a fucking decent meal, and I'm sleeping on the fucking floor of my office. He's fucking pissed off. Mickey, I don't give a flying fuck. Didn't I tell you the family said keep a low profile? Mickey, what the fuck am I hearing about this TV show? They say you look like Lucky Luciano doing... Let's make a deal. What is it? Do a one, two, or three, you stupid ass? What the fuck you been thinking I'm doing here? I've been laying low. As low as I fucking feel, which is taking a ladder to reach the top of a fucking curb. Listen carefully to me, Mickey. All that means nothing to me. I'm getting a lot of heat from the family. So all I'm saying is, no more commercials. Got me? Hey, Nick. It's a fucking legit business. I gotta earn. I mean, what am I fucking supposed to do there? I got the feds up my ass, I got the family up my ass, and now I can't even fucking run a legit business? You're fucking shit. Dude. Cut this shit now. If he hears about it again, there's gonna be a lot of trouble for you and the boys. Come on. I mean, I did five years in the fucking pen. I kept my mouth shut when I was supposed to. I mean, I'm way behind here. I need to start making some fucking money. And listen, Nick, I don't want to cause any grief. But it's a fucking travel agency. My nejita. I'm not selling dope. I'm selling fucking airline tickets. Well, that's good, because you're going to need one for a faraway destination and one for each of your boys, too. Mickey, we go back a long way. I respect you. You do what you got to do, but keep the commercials off the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No commercials. Okay. Okay. I don't want the family up my ass anymore about this. Keep your face off the TV. Yeah. Understand me? You know, the funny thing is, before long, they'll probably want to kick back. Hey, Mickey, a couple of tickets to Honolulu, maybe. You know the deal, but people know a gangster when they see one. Kabish? All right, I got it. I got it. No more commercials. Well, good luck with the business. Uh-huh. I gotta go. 
You gave me fucking Ajita. Bye. If he kept up his crap, Mickey was going to find out how deep the closest lake really is. Mick, you all right? No, I'm not all right, actually. These sly scumbags in New York found out about the fucking TV. They know about the commercials. So now they're breaking my balls. They don't want me on the air anymore. Well, that's kind of what I was telling you about why we hired the boner. Bafangul the boner. That fucking child star loser asshole. I'm going to pay fucking five grand for that idiot. So what the hell are we going to do now? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do them fucking commercials first thing in the morning. What do you think about that? Okay, boss. Mick, I think you're really asking for trouble. Hey, Dom. It's Dom, right? And not dumb. Remember you got me into this fucking mess to begin with? Tomorrow, we air again. That's it. Okay, boss. Boss your ass. Call me Monty Hall. I mean, it's not a big deal, man. I got the I got the I'll dice, lend guys. You, money. you want me to lend you money? That's cool. That's cool. Come on. All right, tell you what. Since you're all out, I'll lend you. You want me to lend you money? All right, good. Thanks a little. We got a new shooter here. Franco, keep it going. Keep it all going. Right, all right. Here we go. Ready? Boom! Oh, right there. Right there. That's all. That's okay. You guys want to leave it down? Pick it up. Yeah, pick it up. To the pod, man. Come, come on. Throw a couple hey, bucks hey, up come there. On. Come on. Come on. Give me a little blow there. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Papa needs a brand new pair of sneakers here. Come on. Oh, another one, another one. Come on, you're hot, 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 you're what the fuck are these guys? Um, we should get out of here before more dice. trouble comes. I think the dice were loaded. Yeah, I think so too. I think we've just been played. Yeah, yeah. Look, let me see that one last time. We'll see him again. Alright. Yeah. The dinner Mickey promised actually got postponed until the next night. A fancy French restaurant. Well, as fancy as this area could offer. Anyhow. So these um, calls that came in, they were all from the commercial? Yeah, Mick, people are calling in. They want you to set them up on their trips. They're going nuts like. Really? I mean, and you took down all the information. You wrote it down, right? Yeah, I gave Dominic the book before we left. Fucking amazing. What? I, I think these jamooks are fucking out to something. Mick, I think it was the commercial. You think? Because I, I didn't think it went that well. You brought down the house, Mickey. Dominic said it himself. I think you got something here. I mean, if you say so. I mean, you know why we're doing all this? I mean, you don't really want to be doing this shit forever, do you? Yeah, Mick, I love it. <laughs> That's good, because I could see you doing great things in this spot, you know? I mean, and besides, you're my girl, I can trust you, and you can keep these boys in line. Well, you know, I may need some help eventually. Everything was going all right. Leave that up to me. I'll take care of that. And then... I, mean, I can handle it, Mick, I can. It's just, you know, a little help now and then. Richie Marzetti walked through the door. You, you all right? Um... You know what, Mick? I gotta, 
I gotta go pat on my nose. <laughs> Viv didn't realize he made the trip into Carbondale just for her. Richie, what the hell are you doing here? The fuck did you find me? Babe, it's me. I can find you anywhere. You're gonna get us both killed. It is what it is. I don't think Viv is really going to powder her nose, if you get what I'm saying. If Mickey were to find out, Richie would find himself taking a dirt nap. Mickey doesn't play around with matters of the heart. You all right? I'm fine, babe. It's, um, I got stuck in the stall. Seriously? Yeah, you know, I had to, like, crawl from underneath. You want me to say something to somebody? N no, no, it's fine, baby. I'm fine. So what do you want to get into tonight? I don't know, we haven't seen a movie in a while. Yeah, I can see going to a movie. Who is he, madam? And the show like this, isn't he? Huh? Well, Mick, I'll handle this. We're gonna have the hors d'oeuvres. The hors d'oeuvres? All right, which one would you like? If you could see me oh. shaking my head at Viv doing the ordering... Oh, there's more than one? We. Oui. You'd understand. We oui, what? We. Oui. this is French for yes. Yes, what? It's like asking Helen Keller to read the paper. It's French. Okay, yes. We means yes. Out loud. Oh, we means yeah. Yes. Okay, we're gonna have the hors d'oeuvres, the wheat ones. Yep. No, no, no. We Forget it. Helen Keller. Which hors d'oeuvres would you like? We have the shrimp. We have some oysters. We have some soup. Wanna do the shrimp? Shrimp sounds good. Then what's for dinner? Oh, Jan, somebody get the chicken merengue. So I'm gonna have that. You realize? Very good. You want a steak, babe, right? Yeah, steak. How would you like it? Yeah, medium. Very good. You amaze me sometimes. Why? You just really bring it out on people. Oh, I thought you meant about me ordering. That too. I told you I could do it. I know you don't like it when people talk funny. Yeah, you got that right. What were we talking about? A movie. What movie? No, 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 no. Go into a movie. Oh, right, the movie. I don't even know what's playing. <sighs> Mick, we need you back at the office. What are you doing here? I came to get you both. We got issues. Issues? I already got my two issues right here with me. We gotta go, boss. I mean, Mick. We got a real problem. That's serious. Yeah, it's that serious. We didn't even get out of water, might as well leave. Seeing the agents so closely had Mickey remembering that all is not well in the city. They were starting to get like fleas on a dog. You better take that stuff to go. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. Damn it, I just ordered a steak. Yeah, me too. Hey, Sandusky, you got a little butter on your tie. What? <laughs> gotcha. Jesus, Sandusky. <laughs> you know, fellas, it's getting crazy meeting like this. Maybe you should back off me a little bit. What do you think? Uh, I'm afraid we can't do that, huh? Hey, call me Mick. No, better yet, call me Mr. Costavento. All my friends don't. <laughs> hey, Costavento, you better watch your back. We got a call that your old buddy's gonna make a move on you. And he's planning a big step up in the family. Mickey? which excludes you. Knew right away who Agent Jackson was talking about. My old buddy, that sorry piece of crap. And the news. See you later, fellas. Ain't good. So, it seems that Mickey's business has taken off. On the run, how can I help you? Oh, can you hold? Like a shot. On the run, how can I help you? Uh-huh. No, sure, we can do that. Nick, we got something you need to hear. Franco, tell him what you told me. Of course. Sit. Mickey's about to get some news that won't make him happy. I think we got a lead on Knuckles, and it ain't good. Who am I kidding? So what's this about Knuckles? Mickey's never happy. Some guys down by the motel said they seen some guys from the town dragging some guy out by his shirt. Did they say where? Just outside of town. It's a city. Town, city, just outside of it. Did they say what they did with him? They said they stuffed him in a trunk. But we ain't even sure it's Knuckles. Well, let me ask you this. Who the fuck else would it be? Would it be the fucking mayor? Chief of police? We can keep tabs on it if you want. What about the girl? What girl? That night, uh, Knuckles went chasing off after some broad. 
Sounds like Knuckles. Yeah. So we're not even sure it was him. I mean, if there wasn't a girl there when they were dragging him out, it could have fucking been anybody. They didn't say anything about a girl. Hey, knowing Knuckles, he's fine. I mean, his way of letting us know he's okay is to not call. Knuckles is the only dumb fuck I know that can get hit by a fucking parked car. Yeah, if that guy had twice the smarts, he'd still be an idiot. It's possible we might need to bring somebody in on this fucking Knuckles thing. I don't think we need to go that far with it yet, boss. I mean, just give us a little time to see who we can rattle. Come up with something before we go that far. Yeah, but the boys are here now. And we need to start digging up some rackets. I mean, we need to start paying some fucking debts around here, because you've pissed away all the cash. And on top of that, we need to send a little bit of money home. They're not going to sit around New York while we're making money. Off the business? Off the rackets. As far as the business goes, they don't know shit. So let's fucking leave it that way. All right. Well, uh, who are you planning on bringing in for this Knuckles thing? There's only one guy I can trust with this kind of shit. He knows how to speak these freaks' languages. Call in Crowbar. And that's when they called me in. Unfortunately, oh, you gotta be fucking with me, right? I was in the middle of a gun run to New York to make some ends meet. Yeah, yeah, you got me. All right, when, I, when are you gonna be in? So I couldn't stroll right in. What? Where? Oh, Mickey ain't gonna like that. But that's the way we are. Well, how about you tell him that? Oh, well, thanks for sticking me with it, you prick. He calls. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you when you get in. I take my time. You know, it's to keep the boss in check. Is that crowbar? Yeah, it was crowbar. Is he coming in? What's the story? Uh, he'll be in shortly. He's got to make a run back from St. Louis. A run? Yeah, well, apparently he lined up a couple gigs while you were in. Well, I guess that kind of takes the importance of him getting his ass here quickly then, doesn't it? I guess. So how long? What do you say? A day or two. Seriously? That's what he said. I would just stay on the phones then. 